Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mill for Monday the 24th of May. I thought in this post-Pentecost period, I'd do something slightly different. And what we're going to do is be looking through Acts chapter 2, that great Pentecost reading. So we start at verse 1. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. And as I read that, I stopped and I thought, we tend to think of Pentecost, well certainly I do, as a Christian festival. Whereas it was actually initially a Jewish festival, and the people had gathered because it was a festival. Um, and the festival had drawn them all together. Now, the, the disciples had been in Jerusalem for the Passover and for the Easter events, but they'd then gone home again. That's why we have Peter going fishing on the lake, and Jesus meeting him on the, lake of, on the shores of Lake Galilee, um, and speaking to the disciples there. But now they came back to Jerusalem because there was another festival. And sometimes as a church, we need to possibly uh, make festivals more festive so that they're more attractive and people will want to be at those great services of the church. Um, and we try and do that with, with um, uh, Easter and Pentecost and Christmas, um, probably most successfully with Christmas. Uh, but we do need to uh, rediscover what it means to have a festival, a celebration as Christians. So that's a challenge to us. And the second thought that I had is that they were all together in one place. Um, and was thinking about meeting together and how important that is and what a challenge it is at the moment where we can't just meet together and we're limited in terms of numbers and duration and spacing and all sorts of things. And, and that, that affects us. Um, and we look forward to the day when COVID will be over and we will talk back to the days of COVID, a bit like the days of the Rinner Pest, and uh, we can go on with life and we can meet in great numbers and we can sing joyfully and with, with full voice and uh, we can enjoy ourselves together. And the disciples were meeting together in one place. And then I thought, but we mustn't think that God's limited, that God sits in heaven and goes, oh my goodness, they're not all together, now I'm stuck, I can't do anything. Because there's that story in the Old Testament where Moses calls the leadership and God pours his spirit onto them. And two of them can't be at the tent of meeting for whatever re the reason is. And the spirit falls on them in the middle of the camp and they start prophesying there. And so God isn't limited by the fact that we're not together. We meet together for us. Not so that God can work. He can work any old way. Um, uh, but we meet together for ourselves. And when we can't meet together, we, we don't need to get despondent and think that God's limited. Because um, he's not. And so as we're scattered in our homes and uh, third wave rising and we're not sure what's going to be happen, happening, uh, we continue to, to wait on God and trust that God will work and will bless us and minister to us like he did to those first disciples back in Jerusalem on that Pentecost festival. Be encouraged that this is the God we serve and know his blessing.